while I, while I was here, because I was just doing a little bit of work today, uh, I thought I'd give the van a bit of a clean out because it was an absolute shit pit. You couldn't see anything, you know. Uh, so it's looking a little bit better now. Yeah, it's looking marginally more organised now, which makes a makes a change because normally on Mondays and stuff it starts really clean and by Friday it's yeah it's just a hole in the ground you know even went to the liberty of sorting out the tool bags and stuff so we've actually got uh, we've got his and hers dustpans I'm her obviously Ken and Dolly I'm I'm Dolly uh, but anyway less of that I'll show you what they what they need here there's loads of stuff here to do this is a job that just uh, it's been it's been in the pipeline for sort of months because um, this was this client uh, so they used to live in Limehouse and they moved out to Buckinghamshire. So this house they've got here is only, it's a little old cottage. Uh, so I don't know, some woman died in it or something. And um, sorry, it's so bright, I'm having to squint. Um, but uh, some old woman died here and there's just a ton of work here that needs doing. But uh, the sort of buying process just took time, you know. So, but I'll, I'll show you what they need outside. This is the driveway actually I'm on now. But uh, they need, uh, the first thing we've got to do is put a car charging point in. So somewhere on this wall here, where that bird box is there, the fuse board is actually just above it, um, so I'll, I mean, it'll probably go up that end, I thought. it's, Or maybe this end, that's the gas... I uh, know, that's the electric meter there, but uh, I'd, somewhere on this wall. They did have one back in Limehouse, uh, but obviously they need another one fitting out here, so that will be coming up, uh, I think, probably in about a month's time, but uh, I'll see. I'll try. As soon as it comes in, I'll record it and I'll, uh, I'll let you know. So that's the first thing that they need doing. So as I mentioned just a second ago, the whole place, uh, I think it was, yeah, some old woman died here or something, and the place is just never, it's never had any love really. So they're actually, they're sort of, they're living here, but they're just redoing it as they go. Um, and they're putting a loft conversion in. I'll show you. So this here is actually the staircase. They've literally just put it in. It was facing the other way, and they've moved it to make more space. Um, and they've, I think the car from the builder has disconnected these were these were and there was a wall here and they've knocked it down and this this staircase has gone in um but the loft is actually it's a huge loft you you forget how big these places are because sometimes you look at them and you just you know you, when you look at them and you think is it can you really get two bedrooms up there but you actually can you know it's surprising how much space you can get so there will be like a bedroom i think it's going to be a bedroom and an ensuite that side and then all the way over that side here's another bedroom an ensuite i think the builder started doing some work up here already started cutting out the floor here to make way and stuff um, but yeah gives you a gauge of what's got to be done up here so that's the that's the loft and stuff that's all you'll see that in videos coming up throughout the next couple of months because this isn't going to be a, an instant thing this will just be done over the course of the next couple of months I guess all right so moving out into the garden I'll show you over here first because the spec out here was uh, quite vague all they all the, the client hasn't really given a spec here so it's kind of uh, they don't really know what they want as such it's just kind of let your imagination run wild here which is quite i quite like it actually it's quite nice because you can try things you haven't done before and all that sort of stuff and the customer's done the same with the the, the carpenter who was working here so the carpenter who's doing all of they've done all the the beds and stuff as you can see here and it's an ongoing this is ongoing there's just there's tons of stuff they're doing um but they wanted some sort of a seating area so the carpenter just just sort of knocked this up over the course of a couple of days and it's just the most gorgeous little little structure so we've got to put some sort of um lighting and power in there I'm not really sure what what i might do is around the outer edge here or maybe just at the top um i can get the carpenter just to put a little lip in and i can just hide an led strip at the top or something just so like a subtle lighting in there it hasn't got to be particularly bright or anything it just has to be a you know if you're sitting in there having dirty got a barbecue or something you just want to sit in there and have something to eat just a little bit of light in the evening or something and uh moving down the garden is this the, the octagon which is, which is still sort of taking it's still sort of taking shape because they're actually thatching the roof on this so not 100 percent sure what's going to be going under here because all this has got to come off and they're going to be redoing it. i think this is just for rainproofing while they're working under here um, but we've got to put some sort of lighting in here. I mean, I guess we'll just put a switch here somewhere. I don't know 100%. Um, so any thoughts or suggestions, leave them in the comments. So moving down the very end of the garden, we have... Now this is a little bit of an unknown quantity. I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. So we've got this little log, this little log store here, right? To the left of that, we, th we, we think, we're not 100% certain, we think there's going to be um, like a garden office going here, we think. So... Uh, what we're going to do is we're running in a 16mm three-core armoured just to be on the safe side. Uh, and I think what I'll do for the minute, I'll run it in and uh, it'll just rise up out the ground by the side of this log store and I'll just leave like a 10 metre coil of it there 
those of us long enough just to, you know, for wherever this building may, may or may not go. So that's the plan anyway. So that hopefully there'll be some sort of a, but that'll be in the next couple of months. That, that down there isn't going to be a media. That'll be another sort of couple of months away, um, probably August, September time. I don't know. So that's going there. And on this side of the garden, I mean, this is just like their veg plot here. It's a hell of a size, isn't it? But in here, there's a little greenhouse. Yeah, you can see the greenhouse. I, I don't know if the glares, anyway. Um, there's going to be a socket in there. So I've got to put a socket. They don't want lighting in there. They just need power. So power's got to go in there somehow. So it's a fair old size garden. There's a lot of work here to do. And then down here, um, in on the corner of the uh, on the corner of the garden, the custom. The only thing the customer specifically requested here is that we've got to somehow light up this pathway. Um, so I, I'm not entirely sure what to do. Maybe what I think what would probably look quite nice if I ran an LED strip all the way down there. I'd have to do probably one, two three five meter strips so i could have to put the drivers in some waterproof boxes up there somewhere i don't know something like that i think it would look quite nice if you could see the light but not actually see the source of the light um but something along those lines or maybe somewhere at the top i don't know um but have a have a look at it and see what you think and leave your thoughts in the comments box below about what you do uh, we haven't done a giveaway for a while on the channel, actually. It's one thing that uh, somebody mentioned where there's an next giveaway happening. So uh, we'll do another one now before I forget. Uh, so this week we've got an NWS three-piece ply kit. So traditional pliers, pointy nose pliers or your long nose pliers, whatever you want to call them, and a set of snips. Uh, this is actually the kit that Dave uses day-to-day uh, -day in his bag. This was the kit that ITS uh, gave Dave to use. Uh, and I can confirm they are a properly good bit of kit. So if you want to win, this is very straightforward. You've just got to do three things. The first thing you've got to do is if you haven't already entered into a previous competition, there's a link below in the description to the ITS website. Click on that link, put your email address in the box that comes up, and uh, that will enter you into the competition. Step two, like this video, and then step three, leave a comment below so I know who's entered and I can keep track of it at my end. So if you already entered your email address on the ITS website, you haven't got to do it again. If you've done it once, you've done it for life, okay? Uh, and that's it. Same, same procedure applies. I will announce the winner next Monday, Tuesday, whenever I've got time, and I'll leave it in the description on that video. And no sooner had I said what a glorious day it was, we've now got like a sort of tropical thunderstorm above us. So I'm not really sure what's, not really sure what's going on, but there you go. You can see the job. It's just that's a new one which has just come in. Um, it's quite. I'm just doing this uh, by the day because it's too difficult to price this as a whole because there's too many variables. Um, but you can see the job. You can see what it is and what we've got to do. The car charging point here is the first thing I've got to do though. So that's uh, going to be coming up in a video in a couple of weeks' time. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, and otherwise, any ideas with lighting or in fact anything you think that can be done in that garden, if you've done it before, had success with it or something, just leave it in the comments below because it'd be good to get your feedback on what you think is sort of good to do in that garden. So anyway, right, I'm off back to London and I'll see you all in another video.